Hello! Welcome to AC3D CAD. This is a quick tutorial on how to create a concentric and eccentric reducers. In this video, we'll be using loft command. First, go to the application menu, hover new, and click drawing, and select ACAD 3D for imperial units. First, go to Coordinates panel and select Z-axis vector and change the direction of the Z of your UCS and turn off the grid. Select Circle Type D for diameter and enter 4.5. Type L for line, enter, start from the center and enter 4. And C again for the smaller N. Type D for diameter and enter 3.5. Circle again for the inside diameter. Click the center, D for diameter, and enter 3.826, 3.826. Right click to repeat circle, type D for diameter option, and enter 2.9 for the smaller end. Go to the ribbon, click this drop down arrow, select loft, and click the outermost circle and the outside diameter of the other end. Right click, enter, click this drop down arrow, select normal to all sections, right click to enter. Uh, change to 2D wireframe and go to loft again. Click the inside diameter for larger N and the inside diameter of the smaller N. Right click, enter. Click this arrow. Click normal to all sections. Right click to accept. Go back to ribbon and select uh, subtract command. Click the object you want to keep, right click and select the object you want to remove and right click. Go back to the ribbon, select solid, select chamfer edge, go to the command line and click the distance option. Enter 0.25 and enter again 0.25 for the second distance. Select the edge, right click, enter, right click again to accept. Right click to repeat chamfer edge, click distance option, enter to accept the given 0.25 value. Enter again for the second value. Click the edge, right click, right click again to accept. Go 
go to Southwest View, go to Home, go to Coordinates Panel again, and change the direction of the Z axis parallel to the direction of your first reducer. Select Circle, type D. Enter the first OD or outside diameter of 4.5. L for line. Grab the quadrant. Enter 4 for distance. By the way, we are creating a flat bottom concentric reducer. This one here and see again for go to circle this time select the two point selection or option and click the end here and enter the value of 3.5 Go back to circle, select the first circle, select center, D for diameter, and enter 3.826, right click to repeat circle, type D for diameter, and enter 2.9. Go back to Ribbon and click uh, Loft Command. Click OD for the la large N and OD of the smaller N. Right click, enter. Click this arrow. Select normal to all sections. Right click, enter to accept. And then go to to the wireframe. Go to loft again. Click the ID and the other ID or the inside diameter. Right click. Click this drop down arrow and select normal to all sections. Right click to accept. Now go back to the ribbon again and select this icon for subtract command. Click the object, right click to select and select the object you want to remove. Now go back to solid, select chamfer edge. Go to the command line, click the distance option, accept the 0.25 volume by pressing enter, and the second distance of 0.25, press enter again, select edge, right click, enter, right click again to accept. Right click to repeat chamfer edge. Click distance option, enter, enter, click the edge, right click and enter. Now we have our two reducers, the concentric and eccentric flat bottom reducer.
go to the command line and type materials uh, choose reflective ivory perspective go to visualize select shadow brown shadows I think we're done thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and comment critic anything if you like it click like thank you so much See you again. Bye.